Hello. Uh, today we will start with our program using the JavaScript. What is a JavaScript? That is a text-based program that can access your know, different information uh, using your client or um, server-side programming. So the following requirements is very simple. You need a text editor. Any text editor will do. You can use a notepad or you can use a subline or the Vim or the Atom. So at the same time, you need also the browser. Uh, you can you can run the browser in offline or online. The, um, before you start to code, well, of course, we, we need to understand the HTML, or you can use any HTML version. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Well, for CSS, we, later on, we can you do that. You see programming? Well, of course, we stick, just stick with me, okay? This part of the overview of our discussion so that you can understand how to infuse JavaScript inside your HTML program, okay? The overview is pretty important because that's where um, big things, uh, you know, coming, uh, coming, uh, coming from, okay? Now, Basic HTML tags are requirements here. So we're going to use the basic HTML tags, the body, the P, uh, what else, um, the title. These are examples. Okay. We put a title, and then my first JavaScript code, slash title. Okay, that's the sample of tag. Here we need to inject the, the basic tags using the head. The purpose of the head is where we're going to put our um, script program for our codes. No? We will use the script. This is where um, your JavaScript um uh, starting uh, uh, is placed okay okay for example we'll write a program in JavaScript we will print a simple hello world um, using the GUI or the graphics users interface so we start with the reserve word function in the name of the program small program is hello world okay so what will happen right here we will use the command window that alert okay hello world the purpose of window that is you know part of the JavaScript command in the alert just like a method to print the statement and we will fetch that small code and then we will print that um, hello function in inside our HTML uh, tags. How to do that? Okay, just put first a little hello right here using the P in the paragraph. And uh, after that, we will use the button. Okay, button is a command wherein we can, we can what you call this, um, call the event for that function hello world. All right, so on click is to call the hello world function inside the script. Okay, so the syntax is very simple. And click quotation, little quotation, quotation, click me, and then we need to close the program. And please don't forget to save the program. Okay, so you can save that in your own folder and um, locate that folder, and then you run the program using your Chrome or using your Mozilla Firefox uh, browser. Okay, I will run my program. Oops, I have an error here. Maybe it is it was misspelled. No, uh, the name of the program. Okay, I will type it again. Mine here is j one point HTML and I run that program. Okay, that's it. That's your first code. Okay, so we are now in the second phase of our JavaScript programming. So let us continue. And uh, of course, our, our target for this uh, session is to create a program, basic program in JavaScript, wherein we can enter the username. Uh, we, we can enter uh, the name of the person. Okay, we will use the variable or the var reserved words to go to uh, uh, to enter the data. At the same time, we'll use the document that uh, get element by ID. Okay, so we have here the title, and then we'll start with the head. Remember, this is where we put our JavaScript program. Don't forget the script tags, the script and the slash script. Okay, so here uh, we will infuse a basic function. Okay, basic data. You can use your own uh, uh, function name or your name as your function name. It's not that problem. Okay, now what will happen right here? We will uh, use the var word. Var is a reserved word of JavaScript to declare a global variable. Global, uh, you can use it in any portion of your JavaScript program. So for the meantime, we will use the var. Uh, later in the next videos, we'll uh, uh, discuss what's the purpose of the let let command and the constant command. Okay. Now, our variable here is the a. So we will have to uh, uh, display first the header. Okay. We'll come to JavaScript, and then we ask the user to enter his or her name. So we can use the A as our um, input variables. Prompt is equivalent to input if you are using Python. That's equivalent to input if you are using uh, the Java. That's equivalent to, well, of course, uh, you can use the scanner in the, the, the console. No? Uh, that's the purpose of that. Now, we will use the document that can element by ID to channel this output in the HTML element. So the purpose of the document that element by ID is to display the output in the elements of HTML. In the HTML, that's where you um, fuse the output. So the output here is your name. Okay. So let us attack now the main body of the HTML 
This is where we uh, fetch the program or basic data function inside our program. Okay. Now, to do that, we will uh, inject the button command here. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Let us first run our program. Okay. When we run the program, don't forget to save the program. When we run the program, this is the output. All right. Now, we will infuse now the button, okay, to uh, call that program at the top. Okay, so unclick is part of your J script um, events wherein we need to display the portion of the program in your basic data function. When we click the program, okay, we enter the name Arnold. What will happen? So, of course, because we stored Arnold in the ADA is part of the input uh, process wherein we use the prompt command. Now, we will use the plus symbol to concatenate the output okay we will use hello and plus the input name there and then we can say that the output is hello arnold okay that's it thank you okay so this is uh, the last part of our uh, quick and rapid uh, discussion on javascript in this uh, discussion we'll be using the javascript statement this is to leverage our program a bit at the same time, we'll be using the get element by ID. As you know, get element by ID is used to display the output and channel it to the HTML elements using the ID. For example, um, we will create a program that will add numbers, but this time around, we need to put our Gscript codes at the bottom of the program. Okay, this will be separated to our uh, uh, script codes at the top of the program, wherein we created the functions of basic data. So we will create a variable here using the math operators and the operands. We're talking about the operands that is the number. Okay. So it refers to the numbers in teachers, no? Okay. Like for example, we'll be using the variable here at the bottom. Okay. And at the same time, we will create also our ID. So our ID will be uh, in between in our body uh, content. Okay. You can use in any um, either here for your own convenience. But in my... Uh, in, in, in my case, I'll be using the H2 no, for a demo purpose only. All right, so we have here the ID equals to total. Always please the spelling, check the spelling rather, and check the syntax of your tags. Now, this is to avert any error. Okay, so we will um, put our code here, okay, at the bottom of the button. All right, so how to do that? Okay, now we will type the script, another what? Plus script code here. And at the same time, we create the variable. We have the x and the y. So we will use these variables to uh, add numbers. This time, we create another variable to get the score or get the sum of x and y. So how to do that? It's very simple. We create an another variable here, total or sum underscore it variable. And then we will use and call or what we call invoke. The JavaScript math function using the parsing. What's the purpose of parsing? This is to convert the string into a number or integer. Okay, that's the purpose of that. So we have here the parsing open parenthesis x plus y. We have the operands there as value 10, 10, stored to x and y. And again, we will channel this output inside our element, the total, in our what? HTML tags. So the purpose of HTML again is to display the output. Okay, so I think you already understand it now how to do that we will use the document that get element by id point html or in html to produce the output okay so we have here sum plus of using the concatenation so it will make more intuitive and then we will run the program okay all right so we'll erase first the comment okay this is to clean up our program at the top Okay, let us erase this thing. After that, okay, let us run the program and check our ID. It is a wrong spelling. So when we run the program, we can see that sum 20. Why? 10 plus 10, that is 20. Okay, when we change it to the number, again, the sum changes also. So that's it. Thank you.